Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight, my only guest tonight, is the lovely and talented host of Last Week Tonight on HBO and an old friend to me and to you. Please welcome Mr. John Oliver. John? Thank you. Thank you. Any music? Wow. Any music? Please? Wow. Something? <laughs> What is your theme music? What is your? Th can you sing your theme music? Cause we'll, I'll play your theme music for you. Oh yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for being here. The crowd is loving you. Oh, aren't they? One imagines. <laughs> welcome, welcome to interviews in the after times. Yes, oh, it's, uh, it's great to be with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like staring into my own anxieties right now. It's such a comfort to see your face because you also, your eyes are also screaming, the Not at all. And, I'm fine, John. Surely. I'm wearing a suit. Which one of us is wearing a suit? Who looks like they're in control, John? It ain't you, buddy. What could possibly be see wrong? A CBS going to give you some curse words during a pandemic, or even during a pandemic, can you not swear? Let's try. Let's try right now. Sure. I'll try, I'll try a simple one. Ready? Yep. No idea if I got away with that. <laughs> <laughs> let's try. Let's try a simple one. This is one I yep. wish I could use that I'm never allowed to. What? You're not allowed to use. No, can't use. CBS, come on. I know, I know. How how are you? How how are you feeling? I'm at, I'm at about a four. It's not on a scale of you got to put that in some sort of range. Oh for me. oh, like zero to fifty. Zero. Okay, good. Yeah yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 doing okay. You know, yeah. it's uh, it's this is a suboptimal time to be a human being. It would mm -hmm. be a great time to be a dog. Sure. Mm -hmm. Or a dolphin. <laughs> Dolphins have had it too good for too long. Oh. It's payback time, Flipper. Sooner or later, Mother Nature is saying, oh, yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> really? Have you seen the videos from Japan? It hasn't exactly been a cakewalk the entire time. We're not broadcasting Japan, are we? Are we? <laughs> There's no one here. Um, so you did a show last night. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah, we did one. Yeah. And from this location? Is this the same place from you this, did it from? Yeah, from right here. Yeah. I'm inside David Geffen's yacht. Oh, lovely. You're just inside now, there's the a man. Hole. There's a man with his finger on the pulse of America. <laughs> Doesn't quite, didn't quite read the room, Dave. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, David Geffen, who I'm sure is a lovely man, I don't know. Uh, he shot, he sent a shot of a 300, 400, it, 700 foot boat. If you can source it, it's worth putting on screen now. It's, it's a large boat. Yeah, I have no point of reference. We have it, Jim. Yeah. If you put it up there, uh, and it's, it's David Geffen at sunset pointing out that he's self-isolating in, um, sure. in a way that I think it might be genuinely revolution-inducing. I think if the race to a class war has begun, I think he might have just fired the starter's pistol. Yeah, but you can't revolt unless you can find him. That's why he's out in the middle of the ocean. That's right. He's like the swim he's like to me. Swim wind. to me, peasants. Yeah, I dare you. Unless you're going to come at me on jet skis. So how do the, you, you've got, uh, you've got a dog, yes? I got a dog, yeah. A dog and and you have children. Yeah, I got a dog, two children, and a wife. And how are they reacting to you doing your show at home? Are um, they mucking I mean, in? Is everybody is everybody helping? Uh, it's probably best that they don't. I have a four year old and a one year old, so there's not much they can do to help here. They, I mean, they are kind of your four year old could do your makeup. He could, <laughs> though. From what I see, he probably did. <laughs> Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, they've uh, they're, they're teetering hand grenades, so it's best that they're not allowed anywhere near mm. this equipment. So I just I just do the show in this room, and then I turn up octonauts really loud so that he can't hear Daddy through the wall swearing. I'm sorry, you turn up the what? Octonauts. Octo he likes not octonauts. It's a it's an excellent show uh, about um, little creatures that live under underwater. Must astronauts be mean like octopuses, but they're but they're yeah, but they're astronauts? yeah. It's not, they're like astronauts, but under the water, and uh, they they find out about animals uh, each week. Oh, good. And good. Um, if you play it loud, you can't hear your dad saying "What the f from the from the from the adjacent room." 
How's your personal um, hygiene going? Are you wearing pants these days? What kind of pants? What, what, what's the bar for pants now? Big boy pants. <laughs> Long pants. I'm wearing sweatpants. Oh, that's not bad. That's not not bad. bad. They're sweatpants and they are stained with uh, ba baby drool and peanut butter. So oh. could be worse. Perfect, perfect. I'm wearing a suit, but I'm, I'm not wearing shoes. Oh, really? Yeah. So you, it's just the, the plates are out. The, the plates? Plates, plates of meat, feet, cockney rhyming slang. <laughs> you got your plates out, Stephen. I'm sorry, I never heard that from and a trouble. And you got a nice whistle on as well, whistle and flute. Never, I never heard that from a trouble and strife. <laughs> oh, not bad. Ah. Up the in apples, it, apples and it. pears, stairs. John, it just occurs to me, have you, have you re rediscovered any old skills that you have? This week, uh, I actually changed a tire on a bike. Like I changed the inner tube. Yeah, I just remembered I had a flat tire. I had the inner tube, and I remembered as a child, I used to do that stuff all the time. Have you d rediscovered old skills in any way? No. Again, I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and I'm trying to make a TV show from scratch. So there's no, there's no extra time in my day at the moment to learn Spanish or how to make a profiterole. That's just not happening. I'm drowning, Stephen. I'm dr the water's here. <laughs> right, if I could breathe through there, I'm okay, right? No, mm -hmm. things are not going great mm -hmm. here. I'm not, I'm not becoming better as a human being. I learned, unfortunately, how to make a TV show on my own here with my staff over Zoom. So right. I've basically been committing union infractions out the wazoo. And, and now HBO knows you don't actually need a set. <laughs> They were, they were literally, yesterday, they were talking me through filming, th through, through the chat on Zoom, literally like they were talking to a civilian trying to land a plane. It was just, I know you have a lot of buttons in front of you. Don't panic. I can feel you panicking. There's a small red one that you need to press. What did you just press? Oh, my God, our screen's going crazy. They were very patient, but we got through it. You did your show last night for the first mm -hmm. time. What was it like yeah. to perform to silence? I mean, honestly, fine. I, really? I, it's, yeah, it's not. You don't. It's, you don't miss the audience at all. I mean, it's, it's it's very nice to have an audience, but I'm I I started comedy doing stand up in England. I am so completely used to delivering jokes to absolute silence, and sometimes worse. So this is fine for me. It, it genuinely doesn't affect me at all. Now, wait, what I'm, is worse than silence? I an English stand up audience. That's literally the answer to that. Just open hostility? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever felt physically yes, in danger? Of course. I did stand up. Of course I did. This is, I didn't come up in your improv world where even the audience said, we're, we're, we're players in the game too. That's exactly right. In we're improv, if you too. fail, they go, well, you know, if it's good 25% of the time, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good no, batting no, 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 no. No, a stand-up audience, it's much more sit back, judgmental. I don't like this but I want you to keep doing it so I can show you to the full extent that it never improved. Yeah, of course, I've been threatened all the time. Yes, did you have yeah, to like, there leave, was, there was leave a, hastily? The, one that you would actually really like just as a, as a masochist. There was okay. a, a gig in Edinburgh at the end of Professor every year called Late and Live, which starts at one in the morning. Yes. It is a bare pit. It is a, an, a, a cesspit of humanity. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can be, you can do flaming deaths there. Like truly glorious deaths. And I, I bombed really hard there once for about 20 minutes. The guy came on after me, destroyed. And so I, as he was coming off and they were cheering for more, I asked him if I could take his encore. And he thought that was fun. So I walked back on. Wow. And the sound of the audience from the MC saying, do you want some more of that? Here he comes. And they, yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. And it felt like the joke had been played then. I went on to do another five minutes and bombed again. <laughs> I have one thing that's like that. I was at the Olympics in 2010. We brought our show up there. Yeah. And every country has their own house, like Ireland House or Switzerland House, yeah. whatever. We went to Ireland House, which was basically just, a, it, was, it was sponsored by Guinness and it was just beer gravy in a barn, essentially. And there was a stage up there. There was a traditional band playing and they had a, a football game on. And I got up on stage and I said, who wants to celebrate Irish culture? And they all went, ah. And I took out a copy of James Joyce's Ulysses. <laughs> I started reading, stately plump Buck Mulligan stood at the head of the stairs and oh. there was a riot. I had to be hustled out by security. That's fantastic. The guy, I was, I was about four minutes into my uncle and there was a guy at the front, smashed his beer bottle on the table. 
held it up and just said, if you don't get off stage right now, I'm going to kill you. And I was, I was smiling for ear to ear thinking, this just can't be about me. This yeah. can't be, I refuse to believe that mm. I, am, I am all that's wrong in your life right now. I'm a mere lightning rod. Uh, John, we, as you know, uh, sadly so, yep. have commercials. It's a, it's a tragedy. It is. So we, we've got to uh, go to commercial now, but would you please stick around? Oh, the CDC say I can't go anywhere. Oh, good. Then you just stay there. Sure. For force. Yeah. By, yeah, by force of law, you will be back, and we'll be back with more John Oliver. Stick around, everybody. But you will stick around. You have to stay at home, too. Stay where the f*** you are. John, we can't say that. We can't say that.